Hey guys, it's Kelsey here with a video for you and I'm making a card today. My grandmother wanted a card to send to her brother for his birthday. Um, so I knew it needed to be a masculine card and so that's why I chose to use this hardwood stamp, background stamp from Stampin' Up! because I felt that was very masculine. And then I had also borrowed my friend's um, Countryside Stampin' Up! collection and I chose the truck off of it um, because my uncle I think is going to be let's see he should be 77 this year um, so I knew that it needed to be a masculine farmer type card so this worked out perfectly that I had the stamp set um, so I had pre-cut all the card stock um, but this is just, just a regular size card um, with a red base and then this cream colored um, card base or card layer I should say. So I'm just going to use my watercolors and my Tim Holtz water rush and um, I decided to paint the truck with the watercolors and then I realized oh I forgot to add a greeting. So I thought this well read um, stamp pad or ink pad from Studio Calico matched the color on the base pretty well so that's what I decided to do. And I just picked a really simple sentiment that was from a Hero Arts birthday set. I got um, probably a little over a year ago because I thought it was the perfect stamp set to just work for general birthday cards. They've got um, some great sentiments in that stamp set. I mean, they're all birthday stamps, but um, there's some more modern ones. And then that one was just very classic happy birthday. And I thought that would work really well for my uncle's card or my great uncle's card, I should say. So I'm just going in. And I was careful not to use too much water because um, I, this is just plain kind of a off-white cream colored cardstock. So um, it's not watercolor paper and I did not want the colors to run and bleed and be a hot mess. And yes, I did practice this once before I did it on the card base. Um, but it was pretty simple. Um, I think I just used, I don't know, a few different colors on it. Um, the grass was actually really hard to get the right color. Um, I didn't feel like I had a good grass green, so I used a mixture of some different greens um, to make it a little bit more bold. And then I went in even with a yellow to kind of get that, I don't know, harvesty spring green color. I guess harvest and spring are not at the same time, but... <laughs> I was just trying to get the right grass color. And I decided to go with a blue truck. I thought that would be perfect because um, the card had the red apples and it has the red base and the red happy birthday. And um, the very base of the card is gray. So I thought blue would be a nice contrasting color. And this is really the only part where you can tell that it's water colored and not colored with another um, type of medium or just regular paints or something. Um, because the watercolor has a little bit of variation to it um, when you're going around this large surface. Um, but I really, really like the way the watercoloring turned out, and I really like that this was just a quick and simple card. Um, I think masculine cards are easier to be simple on because um, guys aren't going to care about the frills and the bows and the whistles and everything else that the ladies are more interested in. So. Um, it's kind of fun doing a more simple masculine card, and I'm definitely going to do more in the future to have on hand um, for like my dad and my husband and um, any other relatives that happen to pop up that are male and have birthdays or any other kind of cards that they need. So, so I'm just going to let this dry. It dries pretty quickly, and I'm just si seeing how I want the layers all put together. So I just put regular adhesive on um, this piece, this layer, and I matted it onto that red photo, and then or the red piece. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and then I took this gray twine that I had. It was left out on my desk, and I thought, hey, that'll be perfect. It'll match the card base. And it, I'm not very good at tying bows or knots or anything, so it took me a couple tries to get this just right. Um, but I did like the way it turned out in the end, and I just did a simple bow, and I cut it off, and I tried to neaten it up, but yeah, I'm not a good bow maker at all. I actually have a bow maker, but I didn't pull it out for something like this. So um, I'm going to mount this on some foam tape, and I used too much of it, tons of it, and I'm going to mount it 
on the gray card base, which actually you don't see the background stamp much at all. So I kind of wasted my time doing that hardwood stamp, but I really want to use that on another background soon because I just love that stamp. Um, and it works really great for card backgrounds, but on this one you can barely see it in the end, but it does add a little bit of dimension. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy and check out my blog to see a photo. See you again soon.